Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God for today. We thank God for the privilege and opportunity to share his word. We thank God for even granting us the grace to go through this fast. Our 21 day fast. Dubbed encounter experience. To see you. To see your power and to see your glory. And today is the 10th day. Today is the 10th day. And today we'll be looking at the three Hebrew boys and the fourth man in the fire. This is a very popular story. I'm sure we know the story. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm sure this is a story that resonates very well with us from our Sunday school days. But it is one of the most powerful encounters recorded in the Bible. Yeah. Let us pray. Our most gracious Father, we thank you for a wonderful morning. We thank you for the opportunity to even come into your presence, to even share your word. Lord, I pray that as your word comes, oh Lord, may they be inspired. May they be encouraged, oh God. May they be motivated, oh God. And I pray that even as someone is listening to this word, oh God, oh, they shall experience a wonderful encounter with you, oh God, that their lives shall change for the better, oh no, because nobody encounters God and lives the same. There will be a transformation. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. So, today we are looking at the three Hebrew boys and the fourth man in the fire. And our text is Daniel chapter 3. It's a very long passage, but I'll just summarize it. Daniel chapter 3, you know, we all know the story. The story begins by Nebuchadnezzar building, uh, putting up a very nice idol and he says that everybody everybody must worship this idol and i think the people wanted to set up daniel and his friends so i I think specifically his friends shadrach meshach and abednego because these people were different people they were they were different because these jewish boys were different they were set apart they didn't want to mingle and do things that were foreign to them and there is one thing I would like to encourage us as Christians that we must be different, because you see, Bible makes us understand. Bible makes us understand that you see, we are a peculiar people. You see, we are, we, we are different. When you say somebody is a peculiar person, it means the person is different. The person is strange, and as Christians, we need to be strange. And so these three Hebrew boys were very strange because they would not succumb to the order of the day at the time. Because, like Peter asked the council at the time, who should we obey? Who should we obey? God or you? There's no way. They must obey God. And so the Hebrew boys, knowing their background, knew that it was wrong for them to worship idols. And so when the time came for them to bow, they didn't bow because it was against them, because they knew only one God. They were, they were ready to not compromise on their values. And I encourage us as Christians that we shouldn't compromise our values. We must stay strong with our values because our values is what makes us distinct people. Our values as Christians is what makes us different from the people of the world. And so fast forward, they disobey the king. Others, they are reported and they are put into a burning furnace. The furnace was so hot that even those who were trying to increase the fire, they got burnt. That was how terrible and how hot the fire was. But you see, I like the faith so much of these Hebrew boys. They will not back down. I like it so much. They brought them before the book of Nazar. And their confidence alone, you see, their confidence was in God. My brothers, my sisters, I came to assure you this morning that no situation is hopeless. No situation is hopeless. Because with God, all things are possible. The Hebrew boys have faith. They believe that God can save them. He said that we know the God. We know our God that he can save us. But they go a step further and say that even if, even if he doesn't save us, we shall still not bow. Oh my God. I have never, I mean, this is an incredible fit. I mean, if it were to be today and now, I wouldn't know personally myself if I was to be in their position. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether I could have had that boldness. Because, you see, at the time, Babylon was a great nation. And so, Nebuchadnezzar was a very powerful man. And so, for them, who were captives, to be brought before Nebuchadnezzar, and be bold enough to Nebuchadnezzar, and Nebuchadnezzar, we shall not bow before this your God. And even if, he said, our God is able to save, and even if he doesn't save us, we shall still not bow. That was the confidence they had. They had so much confidence in God. My brother and sister, so I want to encourage you that do not lose hope. No situation is hopeless. No situation is hopeless in God because the Hebrew boys knew their foundation. They knew what they were standing on. They were standing on, they were standing firmly on the promises and on the word of God. Because God's word does not fail. God's word is like a rock that the righteous can stand on. God's word is yea and amen. God's word is like a double-edged sword. Oh, God's word is sharper than a double-edged sword. You see, God's word is true and it shall never fail. And so therefore, they knew the confidence they had in God. And they were bold enough to turn the book of the book of Nezah. We shall not bow. We shall not serve this your God. And the book of Nezah ordered them that they should be put in the burning furnace. And my brother, my sister, as they were put in the furnace, everybody would expect that normally they will be shouting and they will be gnashing of teeth because the fire was so hot. Because even when you are even near a co pot and you are even finding the co pot and the fire, I mean, the fire is, I mean, the fire, some of the sparks of the fire comes and it touches your body. You go like, Aji, Aji. even when you are frying chicken or you are frying cocoa and, and, and even the oil, when you dip the chicken or the cocoa, the plantain into the bowl of oil and the oil splashes and a little touches your body see how painful it is you are like a dish sometimes you even you even need to add salt to it so that it doesn't become a severe pain but these boys were put in a burning furnace that was so hot that those who were increasing the fire got burnt and they died by the heat Oh, my brother and sister, no situation is hopeless in God. No situation is hopeless because they had faith. Oh, and trust me, oh, if only we had a little faith. Jesus said that if only we have a little faith, like a master seed, oh, we shall be able to tell this man to move, and this man shall move. These boys knew the confidence they had in God, and therefore, as they were placed in this benefit, oh, something miraculous happened. Something miraculous happened. Something strange occurred. Oh, my brother, my sister. Bible says that a fourth man appeared. Verse 25. Daniel chapter 3, verse 25. He said, that, look, he answered. I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. And they are not hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Praise be to God. Oh, praise be to God. Praise be to God. Nebuchadnezzar, first hand saw the glory and the power of God. What an encounter. That you put three men in the benefits and suddenly they become four. How did that happen? And suddenly Nebuchadnezzar acknowledges that this one looks like the son of God. My God. It can only happen by revelation. It can, op- it can only happen by revelation. It can, op- it can only happen by revelation. <gasps> these boys were saved. Oh, these boys were saved. And you know the interesting thing? You see, this encounter caused Nebuchadnezzar to even change. He said, you know what, Charlie, bring these boys out. And he made a decree that, Charlie, oh, this God is a great God. Everybody must serve their, this, this three boys, their God, because this miracle is too strange. This encounter, this power, this glory that we saw was too strange. My brother, my sister, I came to tell you this morning that, Charlie, no situation is hopeless in God. Every situation can be turned around because with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. What an encounter. An encounter that's able to change a king. A king who is so powerful, he's humbled and he changed his ways because of an encounter. An encounter is critical. An encounter is critical. There are so many encounters in the Bible. Oh, oh, an encounter. An encounter changed the name of Jacob. To Israel by one encounter with God. He wrestled with the angel 
said that you have wrestled with God. And his name was changed. So today your name has been changed from Jacob to Israel. An encounter. Paul was on his way to Damascus, going to kill Christians. And one encounter. Ah, Paul now became an apostle. That he even said that I was the least of the apostles, but I labored. I labored that all of them, because of one encounter on the road to Damascus. An encounter will change your life. This morning, I, I pray that somebody will be encouraged. I tell you that say, no situation is hopeless. No matter what you are going through, it is never hopeless. If only you shall take the promises of God and you shall stand firm on it. You shall experience an encounter that will change your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, may God be praised. May God be praised. This morning, I want somebody to be encouraged. Don't lose hope. You ca- don't never lose hope. Because God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can think of or imagine. Because God is great. Bible says in Isaiah 60 that when God sits in the heaven, the his the earth is his first too. Imagine a God who sits in the heaven, the earth is his too. He is a great God. He is a great God that we serve. Our problems cannot be bigger than God. If only we shall believe. This morning, I pray that you shall believe. Whatever you are going through, my brother and my sister, do not lose hope. No situation is hopeless. Because Shadak and Meshach and Abednego were supposed to have been burned to ashes. But they were saved. And the book had Nizah had the heart of repentance because of that encounter. May somebody come to the saving knowledge of Christ because of your encounter in the name of Jesus. I pray that today, oh, that today, that from today you shall experience the glory of God in your life in diverse ways, in your professional career, in your academic life, in your family life, in your ministry, wherever you find yourself, you shall experience the power of God in your life. Oh, the people shall say that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. In the name of Jesus, we thank God greatly for his word. I will end here. And then I will send the prayer topics later on. The prayer topics will follow. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word that has come to your people, oh God. I pray that your word shall transform many, oh God. Your word shall inspire people. Your word shall encourage people, oh God, that no situation is hopeless. That they shall continue to hold firm to your promises. Because only you, God, can save. Only you, God, can turn situation around. Only you, God, can do the unthinkable. Only you, God, can do the magnificent and the greater things. Because it is you you oh god who can do it because there is no god like you oh god oh by your word the heaven and the earth were, were formed oh god what a great and mighty god that we save lord may you transform any hopeless situation that anybody's going through now in the name of jesus oh god may you transform any hopeless situation that anyone is going through oh god that they shall come to the saving power of your knowledge in the name of jesus oh god we thank god and we praise your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we've prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. I pray that you shall be strengthened as we are fasting. It's not easy, but continue. Because Charlie, God will reward us. I see, I see, I see many manifestations and I see many testimonies happening. I see it already. Trust me, just hold on firm to the promise of God. And you shall soon testify. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen.